Good morning everybody. Great to be with you on this lovely day and we're going to have a special time together. We're sure of that. We've been praying into this morning. We know that God wants to minister to us and that he will do so. And uh, some very good news is this. We are 24 hours nearer to being back together than we were yesterday at this time. That's a good a good uh, exciting thing to start the day with isn't it we don't know when but it's coming and every day that we live in these confines is getting closer to that happening so uh, we trust that your hearts are open and that uh, you are ready for to worship him remember worship is to him we are limited we we uh, we know that we're over the airwaves here but it's a heart thing so we want you to join in and worship with us this morning and have a heart that's open to receive the word. Here comes Deb to pray. Good morning, everyone. Good to be with you again. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that I know so many times it's been said, especially over the last few weeks, that you are our only constant. You are the one who never changes, never falters. When we walk upon you, upon the rock of Jesus, our footsteps can be assured to be stable and secure. And we just thank you, Father, that we know you today. Thank you that we get a chance to do church together today from different parts of the world. And we just pray, Father, as we do it this way again today, that you would just anoint every home, every person that's watching, Lord, from us to them, Father, may there be a great sense of togetherness as we do church together today and as we lift up your name across this land. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? His love is mighty and so much stronger. He takes the whole earth with holy thunder, and he's the breathless, he's on a wonder, the king of glory, the king of the glory. All that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of Glory, the King, King of Earth. The King of the Holy Spirit. This is amazing grace. Father, Jesus, I find this spirit. 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 All that you've done for me. Who breaks the power? Who breaks the power? Sin and darkness. Whose love is mighty and so much stronger. The King of glory, the King of all. He shakes the whole earth with holy thunder. King above all fear. This is amazing grace. This is 
and failing love And you would fill my place And you would fill my heart And now your life That I would be set free Oh, because I sing for all that you've done for me Back into order, who makes the orphan, a son and daughter, the king of glory, the, the king, king of above all kings. Who rules the nation with truth and justice, all of his brilliance, the king of glory, the king of above all kings. In grace, the failing love, that you would take my place, that you would be my cross. You lay down your life, then I will be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that, that you've done, done for me. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Uh, I, my place that you will be my cross you lay down your life that, that I would be, be set free oh, oh Jesus I sing for all, all that you've done for me, me. this is amazing that you would take my place, that you would be my will, you lay down your life, that you would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Amen. It appears that we're um, it appears we're having a few issues here. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Um, we've just switched one of our um, one of our computers off, so hopefully that will help. Um, do we need one on so we can tell if it's working? Hopefully that will help. But what we are going to do, we're going to just pause and pray. Amen. So just, uh, yeah, we've had a broken string already this morning, so it's one of those days. But hey, we're overcomers. We shall conquer this now in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Just reach out with me. Father, in Jesus' name, we just bind any spirit that is affecting what is taking place this morning from our broadcast, Lord. We, we, we just bind uh, anything that's not of Jesus that's affecting us right now in the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name, Father, we, we, uh, we speak forth in faith Lord and all of our technology will work that we, our broadcast will reach uh, the houses Lord uh, where people are tuning in and there'll be no delays but it will just run smoothly nothing will avert your purpose for this gathering this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we lift ourselves up to you Lord we thank you for every person who's tuning in there and in the mighty name of Jesus we go forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to give announcements? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Not bad, is it? Six weeks without breaking a string is pretty good for me.
Okay, so the announcements are very similar. Obviously, there's not much new happening at the moment. So uh, again, just bear with us. Thank you so much for your daily devotionals. People are really loving them, and we're getting great feedback. Also, for the social distancing videos, thank you for those. Keep them coming. It's great to have these things every other day for the social distancing and every day for daily devotions. If you haven't done a daily devotion yet, please send one in. It's for you to do, so please do that. Two minutes, um, and then you can WhatsApp me, and we'll get it on the schedule. Thanks for those who are doing gift. I've had a couple of messages from people saying it's not leaving your account. It's taken up to about two weeks to do that, so you will be doing it correctly. Um, don't worry if you're not seeing it go out of your account straight away. It takes a couple of weeks to do that. But thank you so much uh, for doing that. We appreciate it. Soul Camp, of course, continues Tuesdays and Fridays. If you haven't managed to see any of that yet, it's all there on YouTube. Just search for us, John and Debbie Bullock, and you'll find our channel. We look forward to doing uh, two more for you this week. Wednesday night is live. We're going to continue with our study on the book of Revelation. Again, if you missed last week, you can see it on YouTube, so you can join us this week. Great study. It's fantastic. Going really well. I've done week one, but I know so many people are looking forward to week two already. So please tune in for that. Thank you for the 12-hour prayer that began. Again, there's a little confusion about Zoom. The Zoom meeting is just at 7 p.m. for everyone on a Thursday night. Um, if you've got a few people in your hour of 12, the 12-hour 12 prayer, if there's a few of you who know each other and you want to Zoom your hour, that's entirely up to you to organise that and do that. But for us as a church, our corporate prayer tower is on Thursday at 7. We're going to open the room up at 6.30 so we can have a chat, bring a cup of coffee, let's just talk to each other so we can start prayer at seven in time to finish at eight so please join us for that any technical issues please don't uh, be afraid to come and just come to me and i'll try and help you best i can and then finally girls in the word saturday morning live at 11 30 again if you don't know about that just send me a message and i will get you sorted out i think now would be a good time to show you a video Really? Is it, I'm not sure we're going through though, are we? Okay. 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 Great. <clears throat> okay, I think we've uh, addressed the sound issue at least, and hopefully uh, that we're coming through a bit better than we were. Keep praying if not, and uh, but stay with us because we'll get there, and we have we have a lot to uh, to communicate uh, this morning and to minister. Out, so stay with us. We'll we'll win this battle. Okay, we're going we're going to put a song on in a moment or two. But I want to read uh, first of all from Scripture, and we're going to prepare our hearts for communion. Don't take communion during the song. We'll take it after. But let the words minister to you. And uh, it's a song that has blessed me for years and years now, and uh, I trust it will you this morning. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me amen do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat the bread and drink the cup, you, produce, uh, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. This is why many among you are weak and sick and a number of you have fallen asleep. It's a great time, while we, while we put this great song on, to look into the heart. We know, we know now, certainly as a church, we, we, we choose to remember weekly over Holy Communion. We choose to uh, point the fact that it's through the broken body and the shed blood that salvation comes. It's also so through the stripes of Jesus 
that we are healed and we remember that God calls us to forgive others and to be forgiven the table is a life giver may it be a life giver to you this morning in Jesus name here we go just bear with us for a moment as we set this up you're not fully on you still see my head above it can't you there we are no okay. yeah move it that way a bit what a glorious night to be able to sing about the gospel of Jesus Christ praise the Lord
I don't know if you can see us again, guys. Let us know if you can. Just uh, comment on it. And hear us, of course. We shall overcome. <laughs> Imagine you singing that now. Tell us if you can see us and hear us and if we're coming through on time, if you would, please. And we're going to go for it. Can you hear me as well? Hallelujah. Okay, let's trust that it'll go through now then. These things happen when you <laughs> when you Why? when you TV broadcasters. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this out, aren't we? In Jesus' name. Uh, we we're gonna take communion now. Okay, so if you haven't already, we're gonna take communion. We'll try that song again a little later because we want to inspire you with it. And uh, it'll come out at the right time, I'm sure. Okay, so let's uh, take Holy Communion, eh? Thank you, Lord, for your broken body and for your shed blood. We do this in remembrance of you. And we go, as I say, through the airwaves now, Lord. And I pray you would minister life to every one of us as we take Holy Communion now in Jesus' name mighty mighty name hallelujah broken body and the shed blood broken for you and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father you try the song again i'm going to try the song again guys and uh, Again, keep communicating. We are going to get there. We shall not be defeated. Thanks for bearing with us. It's obviously nothing we can do. It's, we've done things exactly as we do every week and not had an issue like this up to now. So let these words ring into your hearts as we... I'm going off screen and it's coming on. Let's move it that way. Again. What a glorious night to be able to sing about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So as 
Too much behind me to let this world blind me. To some, he's a name, but to me, he's my everything. Hallelujah. I am not ashamed of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 1 says this In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace just comment to uh, let me know if the sound is coming through at this stage would you i'm going to pause for a moment john chapter 1 there verse 1 to 3 and then going to verse 14 i'm going to repeat that in a moment or two So just let me know, is the sound, somebody just comment. All fine, great, thanks, Sue, I just noticed that and others. I'm going to start again, okay guys. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. The Word became flesh, verse 14 says, and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth amen 
the word became I want you to just ponder that for a moment I want you to ponder the word became the word became the word became because if things can become there's no end to what can yet become for us as a church for you as an individual it is through faith-filled words that we transfer things from heaven to earth do you know that we can transfer victory from heaven to earth it's it's all it already exists and it exists in our spirit man and that connection of course is through the spirit so let's use these days to rise into a theology of victory amen we have no need to be fatalistic because we can affect the future we have a say in what has yet to become we really do and so do you you might be somebody who's in a situation this morning you think John if only in you I can't seem to ponder my way out of this I can't seem to see the future well let me repeat something there you have a say in what will become you have a say in it in Jesus name your mind is not equipped to believe the word over natural and circumstantial evidence but your spirit is your mind is not equipped to believe the word over natural and circumstantial evidence but your spirit is for this reason amongst others we are called to be in the spirit if you tuned in on Wednesday we looked at the first chapter of Revelation and as Deb said earlier we're going to look through the book of Revelation and it, it, you know that it, it says in on the Lord's day I was in the spirit this is John who wrote Revelation the disciple John on the Lord's day I was in the spirit I'm going to hand that to you just for a moment or two Deb's just put another string on oh she hasn't but anyway she's working on whatever she's going to play five stringed five stringed instrument okay so he was in the spirit which means there were times when he probably wasn't in the sense that he was talking about and we we can only understand what we can become when we're in the spirit you know the difference you know when we're in carnal thinking we can't see a solution we can't uh, be joyful about the future but once we get into a place of the spirit it all changes doesn't it it's not easy but we have to learn to speak from our spirits and not from our flesh in order to do so we need to be connected to our source of life then have our hearts and our mouths in unity we'll see why here is a good reason Proverbs 18 to 21 oh sorry 18 verse 21 says the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit which which means this in 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 the in the sense of power think about that word I highlighted the word power the tongue has the power of life and death which means it can do something about those things it can do something about situations it's a power a power removes things a power overcomes things a power challenges the right of something to get in the way we faced that this morning haven't we believe you me we were praying off screen we were praying this morning and you know so many times I've had to do that in live meetings where something goes wrong and you know you needed it to make the you know to make the meeting effective in the sense of it would be difficult without it so what is spoken out of your heart your spirit will build your life so you have a say in what you become there is no question about this you have a say in what you become you have a say in your tomorrow God has given you that you know does it need me to repeat he's sovereign we know that he's God he can overrule anything but he set in place principles through his word that work unless there's a very good reason why God says on this occasion it won't work for you because I've got a bigger plan or something do you understand we, we accept God's sovereignty but neither will we be denied our part in our future and what God says we can do 
through his word. Amen. Luke 6.45 says, Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if we speak in bitterness or we're complaining or we're critical, it's because there's something in our heart that's not right. Always. Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. When we when we say in go on and encouraging and believing for people and speaking people up and words that bring life then the opposite happens in proverbs 4 24 it says therefore above all guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life because there's an overflow there's an overflow from this thing within us that that we call the heart and we relate that to this this interaction between spirit and soul and there's an overflow there's always an overflow always but the overflow can change from negative to positive above all guard it because god knows that you can have a say in what becomes and what you become it is by words that a person is justified or condemned. That's how powerful words are. In Romans 4 from 16 it says, Therefore the promise comes by faith, so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who have the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our Father in the sight of God in whom he believed, the God who gives life to the dead and calls things into being that were not. That's how Abraham got his name. He wasn't always Abraham. You're probably aware of that. He was Abram, <laughs> which means uh, exalted father. When God changed his name, he didn't have any children, but he was called father of many before he got any children. He wandered around, you know, I've laughed at this over the years. He wandered around uh, being introduced as father of many and he had no kids. Imagine, it takes faith, doesn't it? Well, how many have you got if you're the father of many? Well, actually, <laughs> I haven't got any at the moment. But God calls things that are not as if they are. Against all hope, Abraham is hope, believed, and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said of him, so shall your offspring, offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead. Since he was about a hundred years old, that's why he faced that fact, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Verse 20, yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God being fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he had promised. Amen. So if God delivers a word into our lives, into your lives, many promises are general, they're for everybody. And, but they come, they come with a clause often. If you do this, then this happens. But if God has delivered a promise, then he's got the power and he'll release the power if necessary through you to get it uh, manifest in your life amen it's not normal to have a child when you are 100 but abraham did it's not normal to have one at 500 but noah did it's not possible to kill a giant with one pebble but david did it's not normal to stop the rain for three years but elijah did amen. it's not normal to start the rain again after three more than three years but elijah did it's not normal to breathe life back into dead, dry bones, but Ezekiel did. It's not normal to take on an army of 180,000 soldiers and win without losing one man, but Jehoshaphat did. It's not normal to heal the sick through your shadow, but Peter did. It's not normal to have cloths touch your body and then be taken to sick people, touch them who were then touched with these cloths, and, and they were healed, but Paul did. It's not normal to wither a tree by words alone, but Jesus did. It's not possible to come back to life after you have died, but Jesus did. It's not possible to ask for 15 years more of life when you are elderly, 
but Smith Wigglesworth, the great man of faith, did and got them to the day, to the day. He was 72 when he asked the Lord uh, for 15 more years so he could serve him. And he died when he was 87. He didn't want to linger on earth. He just wanted to fulfill his purpose. That's why he asked. You know, the Apostle Paul says, uh, to be out of the body is better by far. To be with the Lord's much better than this life. But I don't want to go if I've still got a purpose. And neither do you and neither do, we, do I. Once the word is in your heart and you are confessing it with your mouth, don't then uproot it in unbelief. This calls for patience because not much is immediate. Not much do we get in an instant, but we get eventually. Hallelujah. We get eventually. I guess till those 15 years were up in Smith Wigglesworth's life, there was still a, a chance that he might, not, he might not get 15. You know, 14, yes, but I might not get 15. But he got 15. He got 15. God will strengthen aging bodies for the next season can you receive that yeah. i'm speaking to anybody who's the, who classes themselves as aging won't put an age on it but what i am saying and i believe this is from the holy spirit and it may be one reason why we've had so many difficulties today because god wants you to know and it's for everybody of course but particularly you may, you know you may you may, maybe i've had a tip off with this where some of you are thinking well th this lockdowns eating away at my life and I might not have much life left because of the age I am don't believe that in Jesus name I'm saying God will strengthen aging bodies for our next season hallelujah why can I say that because you are not the strength of your life the Lord is Psalm 27 1 says the Lord is the strength of my life if only we can get what's in our spirits as we know through our soul camp teaching into our souls and rejuvenate in our flesh if only we can get that release of life then we have a wonderful future in the hebrew language the word for thing and the word for word are the same it is dabar or dabar d-a-b-a-r means thing and it means word so when God speaks, his word becomes the thing that was spoken. Pause and digest that. When God speaks, his word becomes the thing. That's why in, in the Hebrew language, and most of you know this, it's condensed in Hebrew. It's not when, when at the beginning when God says, let there be light, and, and there was light. In Hebrew, it's just light be, light was. So the word that God spoke became the thing that the word uh, instructed and meant. It became the thing. The Apostle Paul said, we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. That's not a new statement to us, is it? Romans 12, 2, it's not something new. We look at that a lot as a church. The season we're in, we're looking a lot at that. And it's not describing what you believe, but how you believe be transformed not you know we, yes i believe in jesus yes i believe in eternal life yes i believe the bible is true it's how you believe in order to apply the truth of what you believe that needs to be changed oh in jesus name in jesus name may that transformation even as i'm speaking i speak words of transformation from your inner man through your soul and into your flesh in jesus name Listen, I want to say it again. I'm going to say it more than once. God will strengthen aging bodies for the next season. God will strengthen aging bodies for the next season. God will strengthen young bodies for the next season. But we kind of take that for granted, don't we? We kind of think, yeah, we don't, do we really need to pray for that? Well, you do because you need his strength, whether you're young or old. But it doesn't stop at 70 or 80 or beyond that. Smith Wigglesworth proved that. 72, Lord, I want 15 more years, please. He got 15 more years, apparently, to the day. And then he just passed and went into heaven. He was at a funeral and he just died. And, and it says of Smith Wigglesworth, it, obviously they had to put something. So it just said, uh, cause of death, old age. In other words, he just passed. He just passed at the end. 
Oh man, Deb just said that's the way to go if you didn't hear her. And it is, it, just to pass at the right time to sleep. So, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Everybody comes that way, whether the words of the sinner's prayer as we call it are different they are different they're different every time i say them really because the actual words are not important the important thing is to get somebody to believe in their heart and then confess with the mouth that jesus is lord and that god raised him from the dead because there's no life without resurrection and they are saved how easy did god make it if you've never done that do it right now that's all you have to do and he will save you and in, at least in time you will know he saved you we are saved you see through a combination of believing and then confessing what we believe how you believe will be determined by the level of transformation that takes place in your thinking how you believe because faith <laughs> begins couldn't remember the phrase faith begins at the known will of god and people perish through lack of knowledge lack of understanding so you're not going to ask or make a stand for things that you don't believe in so you have to keep growing developing let your faith develop know the will of god don't believe the lie of the enemy that it has to be as it is today because it doesn't the word became we can become tomorrow something that we're not today. Galatians 3, 7 and 8 says, Understand then that those who have faith are children of God. Sorry, children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. It required patience, didn't it? And in that time, he wasn't fully persuaded. You know, we, we can take heart from Abraham, but it says of him in, in, in Genesis 24, 1, at the end of his life, he was blessed in every way. When he was old and mature in years, he was blessed in every way. But he went through it, didn't he? Wouldn't you? God was silent for something like 14 years. And he'd had the promise. He, that, that he was going to, this promise that all nations would be blessed through his offspring. And there was no offspring. So he tried and he, 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 he meddled it up and he got it wrong and Ishmael was born. But eventually God's promise came true. So I want to say to you today, if you've messed it up, meddled with it, messed it up, the promise of God, then it's not too late. Isaac came after Ishmael. Isaac was the child of the promise. Isaac is the link back to God the Father, not Ishmael. There's an important point. Isaac's the link back, the child of the promise. But my goodness, by gum I was going to say, Abraham had to wait, didn't he? He had to wait. A hundred. He was a hundred. You know, what expectation did he have of God coming through on his promise? So I'm saying to you today, I'm saying to us at Newcastle Elim. Look at the promises that came, the thing that brought the church over the road. What's going to happen in parts of the building that haven't yet been used? If God spoke and God gave a promise, it's going to come to pass, even if we've got it wrong in some areas. It's the same for your life. Hear me today. If you've got it wrong, don't wither realize if god spoke something then word and thing are the same thing so you can still become the thing if you like that the word spoke we've all been through ups and downs on this journey we've all failed we've all got it wrong we've all chosen sin at times instead of walking in righteousness that's the truth but god doesn't give up on his promises praise the lord because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Unto salvation. Salvation does not, just, does not just mean eternal life. My plan was that that song would lead into this. 
you know, and uh, we realized it, we struggled to broadcast the song. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is not something that just brings life after you die. It means restoration in this life and it means the power to be what God says you are. It is the full package for life. Relax. I was going to say, this is where that song was going to come actually. Relax and listen to a song that's blessed me endlessly over the years. I've got too much behind me. Have you? I have. I've got too much. You know, I'd exhausted life when I got saved. In many ways, I'd exhausted life. So it wasn't that easy for the enemy to say, you know, I've still was tempted to sin and stuff but it wasn't too easy for the enemy in those days back in Blackpool to say to me uh, John uh, you know it's better in the world I'd exhausted the world I'd done some incredible stuff by then you know I remember going on holiday shortly after I was saved and my pastor Jim and Dorothy Debbie's parents I was going to Spain for two weeks to Torre Molinas and I know they told me after they thought that'll be the last we see of John because he's a new convert and he's going you know into that kind of place on holiday with non-Christian people but it had gone it had gone deep enough it had gone deep enough I've got too much behind me to let this world blind me to some he's a name he's just a name but to me he's my everything that's why I am not ashamed of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, we have learned that expectation has to be based on correct information. It is acting on correct information that eliminates fear and gets results through faith. And Galatians 5.19 is clear. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Now, I'm going to say something, and I want this to penetrate you. Wherever you're at, wherever you're sat, if your problem is the biggest thing in your life, you need to change your thinking. Because however big your problem is, it is not bigger than the God who loves you, who cares for you, who has chosen to reside within you. However big your problem is, take that to heart today. It is not bigger than him. It is not big enough to stop God doing something that will eliminate that problem from your life. Praise the Lord for that. The word became flesh. It existed, the word, because the word speaking of Jesus, of course. The word existed before it became. Our tomorrows exist already. By faith, we can take hold of our tomorrows today. Today. Sunday, the 27th, what month are we in? <laughs> April. Today. 26th. Sunday, the 26th of April. Yes. <laughs> our tomorrows exist, folks. By faith, we can take hold of our tomorrows today and have a say in what they become. Oh, wow. I love that. Quite, quite literally have a say as well. How do we make the word become? When we know God's will and pray God's will, then speak it through faith out of a heart of a gappy love, then our hearts and mouths are in unison and we get a result. This is how things are transformed from heaven to earth or trans transferred from heaven to earth, I would say. During these days, let's, as a congregation, keep transferring things from heaven to earth. We're not waiting till we get back together, till lockdown is over. Oh, we'll start again, you know, whenever that is. We don't know when it's going to be, do we? We are now people. Amen. We are living in the now. We're building tomorrow now. You should be building your life for tomorrow now not wait until it gets back to normal till the limitations are off of us in Matthew 12 34 Jesus addresses the Pharisees he says you brood of vipers how can you who are evil say anything good for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of I hope you're getting this principle this morning that I'm trying to put over you get right with him you, you, if you're not, I presume you are, but if you're not, get right with him. 
understand that you can change things you can you can pray you can you can confess god's word into your future into situations mark 11 22 25 says have faith in god jesus answered truly i tell you if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen it will be done for them therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you've received it and it will be yours and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins god is saying there's power within you and the thing that blocks it is sin and unforgiveness and so so he ends this portion which is amazing because it says say not pray here it says say but you can't say with effect if your heart or, or that what we've been teaching in soul camp that that if you like the valve and that tube that flows the life from within your spirit into your soul and through your mouth and through your touch on other people it it it, it has minimum effect compared to what it could have so he throws that in at the end there powerful when you stand praying if you are old anything against anyone it's worth getting rid of it forgive them so that that comes first so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins so that after that's happened walk boldly address your problems pray about them it says when you pray then believe believe you've received it and be at peace rachel rachel fisher's message uh, yesterday to us was you know was about i'm at peace I, i'm uncommonly at peace despite what's going on something's going right when that's taking place inside of you isn't it and god wants it for us he wants it for all of us absolutely so if you don't keep the love commands which is not my message today but it creeps in everywhere you will try and overcome the world in your own strength you will but if you keep the love commands the blessing of god will overcome the world on your behalf expect goodness to come your way being blessed is having supernatural power working for you being cursed is having supernatural power work against you In the name of jesus we break that over every person watching now for every child of god out of over every member of Elam Church, Newcastle, those who may not have tuned in, we want to break that curse over anybody, that supernatural enemy that's coming against them, that's tied them in knots. We break it in Jesus' name. Lord, may the necessary work go on in each heart in order for that to manifest. John 15, 13, as we round up here, guys, says this, greater love as no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends this is jesus speaking of course i no longer call you servants he's saying that to you today saying it to me because a servant does not know his master's business meaning jesus has given us insight even in the days we're living in we we have no fear of what's happening we've no fear of future why because we've got the word of god Amen. We've got the book of Revelations that we're looking into. We've got other aspects of scripture that, that we can take heart from. That God is in control of history. Not the devil and not the politicians. God. He has the final say. Yes. Instead I've called you friends. We sing it don't we? I am a friend of God. For everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me. But I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. When the heart's right, the mouth can speak. When the heart is right, the words that come forth out of our mouths are powerful and effective. To even affect life and death, the scripture says. You can say to this mountain, be removed. But words in themselves, you know, what language should we use? We've got several languages in our church. Should we use this language or that language? 
it's not it's not the language it's the words that flow from the heart out of the mouth that are powerful and effective based on the holy scripture the word of god so we just jesus says i chose you whoever you are listening today whether you're doing well or not whether you think you're doing good uh, as a friend of jesus if you like or not he says he chose you he chose you you can have a say in your future he wants you to fulfill your purpose on earth and i'm praying now i've been praying before this meeting and through this meeting i'm praying now for all of us that the lord would increasingly be the strength of our lives how can you go wrong if if the creator and sustainer of the universe is the strength of your life <laughs> And I'm especially praying, as you know today, I'm especially praying, obviously for all of us, but especially for those who may consider that they are aging. That I'm aging. You know, how much time have I got left? Is there any purpose left for me? I, I'm concerned because we're locked down and how long is this going on for? Because I'm aging. In Jesus' name. God will strengthen aging bodies in order to prepare them for the next season. In the name of Jesus, I speak that right now and believe with all of my heart that it's taking place. We at our church, if you belong to our church, I'm sure others who are in other churches, listen, we need you. And not only do we need you, we want you. We want your, if you're aging, you know, I'm, I'm not far behind, am I? You know, I'm, I, I may be in that class myself. <laughs> We're all aging, you know what I mean? But hey, I'm talking now of, of this section of our church who have massive experience, massive capabilities, and above all, they've learned to have massive hearts. The Lord is the strength of your life. So be healed where necessary right now and be strong everybody right now. If you've never prayed that prayer I said earlier, then in Jesus' name, I ask you to pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me at Calvary. I believe also that you are the Lord. I speak forth that you are the Lord. I ask you to forgive me, to cleanse me, to come into my life as my saviour today, to save me, Lord. I believe that the Father brought Jesus back from the dead. There is resurrection life to be had. And I receive it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. As usual, do let us know if you've prayed that prayer. We'd be delighted. But we're going into one more prayer as well. And that's for all of us. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray with me, folks. In the name of Jesus. I pray now that... If I need healing in my body, you'd apportion healing. I say be healed, child of God, in Jesus' name. I pray also knowing that you are the strength of my life. Fill me with your spirit that that strength would permeate my soul, would permeate my flesh. May I be like Caleb, ready at 80 to do the things that I knew I could do at 40 and to be without ailment to consider and to uh, do those things I receive this by faith too in Jesus name ah praise God guys we've seen today how easy it is uh, for technology not to work properly and the disruption that brings it's like whew, what we're going to do kind of thing well I'll tell you what we do we pray and we speak we speak with authority into situations and but i'm saying this keep us in prayer for that you know our means at the moment are like this they're through these means we do it a bit different we even sit in different parts of the room to make it a bit fresh <laughs> but that's all we have so guard it for us will you guard it and pray it's going to get even better our, our communications will get even better the word of god will be anointed our praise and worship will be anointed whatever we attempt to do when we're putting others on as alan has been on sharing that it's going to come through and work for us and build us up in this time we are a people of the now 
We are not waiting for the future. We are being strengthened now in the name of Jesus that we are ready for the future and it's going to be fantastic in Jesus' name. God bless you. Here's Deb. Great. Hallelujah. When it was all going a bit wobbly this morning, I, saw, I think it was Antonise said, um, Christian's praisings broke the internet. <laughs> it made me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to sing a great song. Holding nothing back. Nothing's going to hold me back. Nothing's holding me back. I am chosen. I am free. I am living for eternity, free now forever. You pick me up, turn me around, you set my feet on solid ground. Yours now forever. But nothing's gonna hold me back. Nothing's gonna hold me back. Nothing's gonna hold me back. Shame away, this lady's clean, a brand new day. Free now forever, now boldly I approach your throne to claim this crown through Christ my own. Yours now forever. Nothing's gonna hold me back, and nothing's gonna hold me back. Nothing's gonna hold me back, nothing's gonna hold me back. Turn me around, you set my feet on solid ground. Yours now forever. Yeah, yeah. And nothing's gonna hold me back. Nothing's gonna hold me back. My chains fell off, my heart was free. Let's do the bridge again. 
Josh Dorinson, getting ready. Guys, thank you for uh, staying with us this morning and uh, for, for coming through <laughs> with us. <laughs> we were pacing about saying, right, Lord, what do we do here? I'll tell you, you know, it's not the first time. But um, thanks, for, thanks for bearing with us. And, uh, you know, uh, we continue to do the best that we can, obviously, and do the technology that we've got. And we trust that you've taken something away from this morning and, uh, and 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 that it's in your heart now it's seed keep growing it don't walk away and just get into the day or into the week whatever god has spoken to you let it be seed and grow that seed you have the power to grow that seed within you that, that let the word become let it become what it, one what God needs it to be and what you want it to be you know within the boundaries of God he gives us choices he really does you know he said let commit your plans to the Lord they'll succeed delight in the, yourself in the Lord and he will give you what the desires of your heart he's for us he's Thank on you. our side and as I said a Thank few you, minutes Jesus. ago do not fear our God is in control of history 
Have a great day. Amen. Do tune in Wednesday night. We're so thrilled uh, looking into the book of Revelation, particularly at this time. Soul camps are going on, as you know. Prayer on Thursday night, prayer through the day on Thursday night. We're keeping things going. We're in the now, and we shall uh, benefit from the now in our future together. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and may the love of God, and may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. A very big God bless you. We Bye. love you very much. Miss and you. We miss you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye.